Hi guys, some of you wanted to see more on uh, how I built the Solar BMS and more about the pick and place machine that I got to, to build the Solar BMS 100. And um, you can see here I apply solder paste to the board and um, I'm using a credit card to spread the solder paste but it's not a great idea, I will need to buy a, a proper uh, spreading tool, I don't know uh, how it's called, it's, it's a rubber thing that uh, it's used to spread the solder paste and works better, I don't know what was with this uh, credit card, it was not that great. So, but um, yeah, it still works fine, no problem. Here is a picture of the board after I applied the solder paste. And uh, here is the pick and place machine uh, prepared to um, place all the passive parts, uh, uh, resistors, capacitors and a, a few transistors uh, on the main board. But uh, most of the active uh, components are not placed because one, I don't have enough um, um, feeders on this uh, pick and place machine. I could not get a larger pick and place machine because it will not fit uh, my, my lab and I will probably not even uh, be able to afford. So this is what I got and um, I already used 12 of the 14 8mm feeders. So. Uh, it's almost at capacity so uh, I'm placing about 140 or 143 I don't remember exactly um, passive parts on this board and then um, I will place um, the rest of the parts uh, manually for at, at this time uh, later I will probably use the front um, feeders or I don't know how to call them, they are not feeders, um, you see the eight uh, aluminum uh, boxes that you can put components on and uh, you can take them from there but uh, yeah I'll probably use that also in uh, when I do the final production, this is just a, uh, I'm building just two boards uh, for prototyping and um, Setting up, up the machine, it's actually takes quite a bit of time. Um, first, that you need to learn about the machine, how it works, and what you need to program. But it's um, yeah, it's it's sensitive to all kind of stuff. So um, uh, having the machine work fine, it's uh, not that easy. <laughs> but what it once it works it should be fine I think so, um, I didn't miss any parts and uh, didn't give any error this time when I built these two boards but uh, the last few days I made a lot of tests and uh, yeah, I had a lot of problems to solve but uh, yeah now it works as good as uh, you can expect for just a mechanical pick and place machine there is no vision so uh, uh, all the tolerances from the from how the components are inside the uh, the feeders and uh, all the mechanical tolerances will uh, play a role in the accuracy of uh, placement so you you will see at the end uh, I will show you how they they are placed. So not that great, but uh, especially the the last three transistors were uh, quite a bit out of line and uh, were not even touching the pads. So that was not great. But uh, yeah, most of the uh, passive uh, capacitor resistors were just. Um, slightly misaligned or uh, rotated but uh, it was not too bad uh, they they will probably 
uh, aligned during the uh, reflow process. So it's not a big problem. Here, just finalize the board and he, here it how it looks uh, after I removed it from the pick and place machine. So I didn't do anything to the parts. This, this is exactly how it looked after I uh, got it from the pick and place machine. And here I um, added uh, all the other parts and uh, it's ready to go in the in the re reflow oven. Here there is uh, a bit more footage from the second board. I was trying to keep the camera handheld but uh, it's a lot of movement and uh, light, the light of the pick and place machine and uh, yeah, the camera gets, get com gets confused and um, the autofocus doesn't work that great in these situations. Uh, when you see that the machine stops and um, goes to zero, it's just to recalibrate um, for uh, zero, so uh, getting the offset, because uh, I do this after each 40 components, maybe I can leave it uh, for longer, but if you do 100 or 200 components without uh, uh, zeroing the machine in between it will uh, start to lose a few steps and then uh, you get into problems all sorts of problems uh, Here is the, the final product after it was uh, in the reflow oven. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. And, um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment and I will try to make a reply.